Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. It's a brand new week. We are here at Sneakers and Stogies. Now, I, yeah, but I also toned down the intro today. It's a better Tuesday than last week. I will say this much. You know, better Tuesday. This episode is brought to you by 4K. 4K. <laughs> but enough of me being an idiot. Make sure you follow, before we get to the introductions and everything, we want to make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe to the video, and subscribe to the channel at Steelers and Stogies. But, this is your favorite YouTube villain, Landon Strange. And your boy, I'm Trey Miss Primal, if you're nasty. And we have quite a short list of topics today, but we're still going to hit the points, because the points are important, and you got your cigars. Yeah. And I know you're happy about your cigars. Yeah, Thompson Cigar came with the pack, y'all can see right here. We in this these two packs right here. We got the Monte Crisco, well the Monte by Monte Crisco. Mm -hmm. Then we got the Monte Cristo Desdi 1935. Okay. And then you got the Romeo E Juliet Real Reserva Real, which I'm smoking on right now. How is it right now? Uh, it's smooth. I give you a full detail. Close to the end. Yeah, of the show. close to the end. And then the last one we got the H Upman cabinet selection okay and this pack in the middle victor sinclair okay you got the habanos you got the 55 the series. full collection of victor sinclair right yep the full collection shout out to thompson cigar thompson cigars we thank you for that but this week has been certified nut shit stamped we're gonna stamp it with the nut shit seal of approval why yes, you wanna know why not getting fucked up yet again. What Before I even get to the the dark topics of this week, not even really fucked up and pissed me off yet again. Nike, y'all was in timeout. How y'all get in trouble while you in timeout? Like y'all that bad kid in school to get the ass beat. Go to timeout and don't learn nothing from timeout. Exactly. We gotta make y'all right a hundred times. I will not fuck up, Nike. I will develop my app to be better, Nike. Nike, come on. So let me start off by saying this. The shoe, and I put it on the B-roll, the shoes that was supposed to release last weekend, the Hair Sixes, which is the neutral grays on the website. Yo. You had the whole Space Hippie collection. Yo. And you had the Dunks. The Dunks and then the LeBron playoffs, right? Yo. So, the only ones that didn't act wrong that was, because Nike also was supposed to push shoes back to this week and beyond. Mm -hmm. But the app actually had it on Sunday, if you had it set up, that you could get the shoes even though they was pushed back. But you couldn't get it on the day they were released. For example, the hairs was supposed to release last Thursday. Yeah. But when I checked Sunday on my phone, they showed up. And I could order them. Yeah, you told me about that, but I still didn't believe it. And I showed you the video. And I'll put the video up so y'all can see for y'all selves, because that's just like trash app development. If y'all gonna release a shoe and say y'all gonna push it back, make sure you keep me notified that you push the shoe back. Exactly. Because if we don't get no type of notification that the shoe's been pushed back, we're going to wake up when we don't want to wake up to get the, get damn the shoe. Like Nike. And then the name change for the Great Slash Fives. Oh, the Great the great Fire Red. The Great Fuck. Like, my nigga. <laughs> you could have said Top 3. You could have said a different, like, Classic 90s Fives. Yeah. You could have said a lot of things, but Great Crossfire Red was not creative, not only as a shoe, but as a name. You think motherfucking, uh, this is trash is trash. No, that's fucking trash. Hey, man. Like, I can't, I can't deal with it. And I'm glad Nike actually updated the Black Lives Matter thingy on their, on their app, which is a good thing. Yeah. Not gonna lie, that was a good thing. Oh, then the Jim Red Lowe's too. Oh, my fucking God. I get y'all like crossing over good shoes with each other. But certain colorways don't go together. Purple and red, to an extent, don't go together. Grape and fire don't go together. You can't have fire as grape unless it's Kool-Aid. That's a fact. But what about the the Nike Air Max orange duck camo? That's different because <laughs> it's based off of a honey theme shoe. Mm. And like duck is like, you can match duck with a lot of things. But when it comes to like grape and fire, you can't clash the two, Nike. You can't clash the two. Because the camo colorways are nice, don't get it wrong, but that orange really looks nice. Man, look, I already got my notify me on. 
<laughs> I'm not, oh. even, not even gonna lie to you. I got my notify me on. At least they won't hold you like they did me like this past week. We gonna knock on wood right there. Yeah, because, because if they do, I'm just deleting the app completely. Don't tell me about Nike app no more. If but, they hold me on these uh, orange dunk, but you gotta get the Virgils, remember? You're right. But I feel like they gonna fuck me on them. No homo. Yeah, nah. I feel that. And then well, did we talk about Adidas last week? No. So let's let's roll into that because that was another thing that we needed to talk about was Adidas and how they have racism in their own company, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. I think they supporting Trump. And that's not a good thing. Let, let's get that clear. It's already not a good thing. But I, me personally, I feel as though they trolling with the Trump. I don't know. And I'm gonna say this because of the fact that they, yeah, they not supposed to support Trump. They need to clean out their own house, I guess Nike. Mm-hmm. But you have stars that don't support Trump on the on the brand that's actually getting paid. Unlike Nike, who use rappers that don't pay them. They only pay the athletes. Yeah. So it's kind of a hard fight in that argument. Like I know Pharrell doesn't support Trump, nope. but it's to the point that when you think about it, you, you got to clean house in the brand and not the app, not the celebrities and the athletes that are using because some of them don't support Trump, but the brand overall does. So it really it's a hard argument nope. per se. It's not like you. It's not like doing foods like In and Out, for example, that support Trump can't go there no more. Like, can't support Trump. Can't go there no more. KFC. Can't you go damn sure can't go there. KFC, I loved you, man. With I don't the, know why you love them. That was, that was 11 love. herbs and spices. And some of them repeat. What's your point? Yeah, you just hate, man. You I don't hate on the, you, on the you, colonel. You just hating on the colonel, man. He wasn't even a colonel. <laughs> <laughs> let's get real. Hold on. Let's, let's get real. There's been multiple. I've actually done research on this subject. <laughs> he wasn't a real colonel. He got kicked out of the army. Listen, KFC, your history, that's your history. But at the end of the day... You're supporting Trump, so is it really their history? They got good food, man. So you going to go back over there and not No, out? right now, I'm, I'm I'm on my cleanse right now. So, I'm so really, that's the excuse you give me? Yes. So when you're off your cleanse, are you going to support them or not? We need a definite answer. Because I for sure gave up Starbucks when they when they said well, employees couldn't wear their Black Lives I'm, Matter stuff. I'm I'm not going to go to them because I, I really gave Kings a piece of my mind. All right, so then. So I'm not going to go to them. I'm going to just, you know, find me in the chicken spot. Yeah, hey, man. Black home chicken spots. Yeah. I have a better question for you, Cordero. If Trump doesn't win president, are you going to be supporting KFC after the election? Oh, that's a good one. Supporting him after the election, like I, I might have to add that audio in after the you know recording everything. And I, I don't know, I, I really don't know, because I'll probably not have it for so long. I'll really forget about it. Exactly, but even still, when you go deeper into detail, like if he loses and you don't support him, I mean, just so, don't support that company. I mean, all right, I wouldn't support it anymore. Anyway. I'll let him go bankrupt. Yeah, you know Chick Fil A not going bankrupt, and they yeah. show support them because you got the evangelical Christians that are going to go out there and get that. Even though the most non-shocking, shocking news of the week was that the LBGQ community got their rights for places to work, not marriage, but for work, yeah, ruled over by the Supreme Court. Like the Supreme Court went six three, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I read that, and that's actually and Chick Fil A can't fight that. They can't. Chick Fil A, y'all know y'all wrong for that. Exactly. So that's one of my like. How many? How many my pleasures you give me? Y'all yeah, wrong, or mm, bruh, deeply wrong, deeply covered in the shit that they got going on. And then, even though with Houston and this and that shit, Houston, I'm me personally, I really feel as though. Houston, Houston, Houston should be put back on lockdown. Houston should, put like- Houston should be back on lockdown, but that is not to say that people are wilding out. It's just for everyone's safety. Because people are wilding the fuck out. Listen, man, I, I'm not knocking people for having fun. Look, you got you only live once, so live your life. True. I'm not right. saying that. But at the end of the day, you still got to think about people's safety. And who they live with and how they and, get around. Yeah, so it's like, 
Yeah, the Houston, it, it got to be shut down. I'm sorry. And then I, just just until a vaccine come, or if the vaccine has been tested already, because I'm pretty sure somebody has a vaccine somewhere. No, we're not going to get that deep into that. I'm not going to get that deep, but me as a health administration major, I know it's a vaccine out there. But it's even crazy that the governor blames the young people. Oh, yeah. Governor Abby, we on your ass. That's why niggas didn't want you at TSU. How you going to blame the younger generations for the spike in coronavirus when you was the one that said open up? You saw Trump's tit and dick and said open the fuck up. So that's your fault for being a dumbass. Like executives and legislators and political people in Houston even said that's not a good idea. Doctors even said don't, don't open the United States at all. But exactly, you have doctors who are working with patients with COVID nineteen telling you do not open, but you want to open. Like I don't know how, I don't know how much money it takes for you to get fucked, but you fucking around with that money, boy. And they paying you to be a personal hoe because you open up states to get everybody risk, and that's not good, man. We need to put you on best net. Hey, you, hey, the way the white folks paying him. The Republicans paying that for money? Man. He make a lot of money at business that sign up air all legis- legislation, man. Like, cause this this is crazy. Like, man. before you even get deeper in the details, you gotta think. Texas is one of the worst states for testing. Yep. And you wanna open? That's mm-hmm. a Florida type shit. No offense to any Floridians that watch the show. But that's a Florida type shit from legislation pur- purposes. But you gotta realize though, if you think about it. He knew this was going to happen. Of course he did. He had a video that said he, he knew it was going to spike up. Is that, bruh, on Twitter, man. So, yeah. Governor Abbott, you, you get nut shit of the day, man. For sure, nut shit. Stamped. Because we could, we could clown on a lot of people, but we ain't taking the politicians. We ain't doing our damn jobs. Exactly. So that's that's right here, right there, personally. Yep. Nut shit. Stamped. But before we get into... More rants because we do. You heard what happened to Gucci man. I heard he left his label. I mean, he's just and he called them polite racists. Which, if you're black in America or black in the South, you dealt with a lot of white folks that have been politely racist, subliminally and politely racist. Let's just say that. You know what? I don't fault Gucci man for that. You don't. You don't have I, to. I, I don't fault him for that. Let if. He feels as though they just been to him, being nice to him because he making them money. But deep down, they have their alternative motives. Of course, of being racist. Mm-hmm. He sh- he should leave. He should leave. Yeah, honestly, me personally, I would have been left because Atlantic has already been in the wrong for multiple years. Yeah, if I'm mistaken, like these this decade. In this decade of change, 2020, the millennials and the Gen Zers are working together to form the ultimate Avengers team to get shit done. Yep. But we don't. T- we're not taking shit from nobody. Not the labels. Not the fashion industry. Like especially with people doing the vote challenge on Twitter, y'all giving vote free press for them being racist for so goddamn long and not hiring enough black people. Especially don't get. Oh, y'all didn't got them started. Oh, we'll vote and the control and the winter. Then you got the friends direct, the friends creator who ripped the show for living single, saying that they wasn't being, you know, inclusive of everybody. They should have been more inclusive. Aisha Tyler didn't get on the show to really season nine. Ross' girlfriend. Yeah, and then she ended up leaving because he got back with Rachel. It, bruh. So you really had one of the black men, co- and they, mind you, it's a rip off of living single, no matter what you say. So it's really like, y'all now want to do this? Now, now, y'all now want to apologize? Some of these half-ass apologies? Come on, man. Don't get me started on half-ass apologies. Mm. Don't get me started. Who gave you half-ass apology this week, man? <laughs> I've been. I feel like I've been ranting about this for two days. Two two episodes. Yeah, I I I feel like I've really been ranting about this for two episodes. And um, you know what? I'm to the point where. This is going to be my last day talking about it. So, the final is the conclusion. So, if you want to see me rant more about it, I'll be on Twitter. Nah. <laughs> but, be Simone. Before we even get there, I want to say this is just karma. It, yeah. This is karma because she... The Lord works in mysterious ways. Exactly. Ta- 
using her Christianity values to not protest, to not do what's right for others, to not stand up for others. Exactly. Then you, then you get called out on the web show. Then you get your book, your book's all fucked up and shit. Your book plagiarized. And then it's plagiarized. And then you say you made a million dollars quickly. You made a million dollars quickly to get it taken back because you're about to get sued for plagiarizing. Uh, and, uh, and, and I'm not knocking education or anything like that. That's not what I'm going to get to. But didn't they teach you that in school to not plagiarize? And there's levels to it, but I'm not even going to get on that. No, no, no. My thing about saying it's just karma is a lot of people are giving her pushback because of this and she's getting free press, but our producer has something to say about Kylie Jenner and why she's not getting the press that she deserves. And I want to hear what you had to say, Donald, because that was actually a good point earlier about Kylie Jenner not getting, you know. Yeah, why is it that Lisa Moan uh, falsifying um, her book is getting all this attention, but Kylie Jenner falsifying her tax return and uh, information? And she's facing jail time. That's not getting any media. Like, and that's what I'm not understanding because she was ranked as one of the, the billion, like one of the newest billionaires. Yeah. Billionaire. One of the youngest billionaires. One of the youngest billionaires. Yeah. You, you know what? I, I have a comment about that, but I'm not gonna say it. We get. Mm, I like. I get it. I. I. <laughs> But you make so much money, why do you need to falsify tax? You're not No, it's not even about that. It's why she's not getting the press that she's getting. I'm here for it. I I feel as though they're lawyered up. The Kardashians? Oh yeah, no. They're lawyered up to where all their information is really under the table. Under the table. And if you do get that information, Mm -hmm. you got an exclusive. So that's why I feel as though it's not getting the as as much press as be Simone. And Chris Jenner is linked to fucking with TMZ. Yeah, right, yeah, of course. So Chris, you- Chris Jenner, like, hey, as uh, as much as that family has caused so much havoc in the last two decades. In the last two decades, technically I, I, three. If you want to count the OJ there? I, look, I respect. I respect. But Jay, don't forget that the main thing would be someone that pissed you off is her blaming outsourcing. No, that's his. Oh, outsourcing is another thing. But oh. that's his point. My point about being pissed off about it, besides karma, is that you should always prove. And I found that one of my friends that's on on Instagram made a valid point that you should always proofread everything you do before you let it get out there. Exactly. That means you let these outsourcers make your book. And you didn't even read the book. You just looked at the cover and say, "I right, send it out." You ain't. You ain't even expect the book. You ain't check the book. Ain't check the book because in her video when she was apologizing. Do you really call that an apology though? It's not an apology okay. to me. Look, okay. I ain't <laughs> paid money for the book, look. but I ain't paid for it neither. So when she was apologizing, you know, she she claims like the outsourcer was supposed to bring her vision to life so your vision was plagiarized so you plagiarized your whole vision was it really your vision that, yeah. all i see is pointing fingers we get enough of that in the white house uh, yeah but in in that same apology she says she takes full responsibility so on, on i do it i give her full responsibility for not proofreading at least not reading the rough draft yeah, that's luck. So I'm we, not have, we have rough drafts for a reason. Cause you remember elementary school when we started writing papers in the second grade? Yes. They used to tell us, all right, you write your paper down and pencil. Yes. And then on another clean sheet of paper after you're done proofreading, you, then you write the final copy. Shit, and we got so technologized at this point, you can really have Grammarly. Grammarly. Check your fuck. Paper and you got money, so I don't want to hear the excuse like you can't pay for Grammarly. Yes, sir. You got money. You got money. You got a million yeah, that dollars. Was, that's what you, you said. Thirty. Manifest. Mm-mm. But hey, here nor there. No, I, here nor there. I'm I'm done ranting about it. If I see more videos on Twitter, you know I'm just going in. Of course, and it's it's there rightly so. But hey, this is my last episode talking about it. Fair enough. I'm done with this. <laughs> This is beyond me. Like, 
Like I've been seeing so much shit going on this week. It's just, and it's only Tuesday. It's only Tuesday. And the whole year is going by fast, you know. Man, like just thinking about it, we're in June. It'll be July in two weeks. Exactly, and like we're almost to a hundred, which is good. We're yes. pushing subscribers and everything. That's also a good thing. Hey, shout out to y'all. Shout out to y'all, because without y'all, we wouldn't be doing this. Exactly. And I know you're going to Sweet Lip Cigar this tomorrow, right? Yeah. Uh, me and Jakari talking about going to Sweet Lip Cigars, uh, Black Owned, okay. right next to our Pro Fights, uh liquor store, and beauty supply store. Which is a good thing. Like, So, uh, if he's there, you know what I'm saying, I'm going to... Go get him and say, hey, come on, let's get a cigar. Yeah, let's get a cigar. Let's talk a little bit. Yeah. But, and then I know everything going on as well. Shout out to Cigar Head TV. He made his first video about talking about cigars. Yeah, shout out to you, Fred, bro. Shout, shout out to you, Fred. To you. Shout out to you. And you're, we're, we know you're expecting another child, but we want to get a shout out to you for the moment. Yeah. Uh, I actually talked to him yesterday. He wants to, like, do like a live with us so i'm down with that so we, i told him yeah let's set it up we'll set it up because we're also going to take a mid-season break but we're still going to like a mid-season break on releasing stuff hey that's fine with me so we can get a break listen, listen i'm on vacation the 26th and the 29th that's fine but we'll still have videos and stuff coming out yeah we you will still have videos we'll still have box openings and stuff like that yeah. we just oh we get open the box today but besides that, besides that, but we also get a little break just to recover and everything because editing all the episodes for y'all is important. Mm-hmm. We want to do everything in a timely manner and also the branding. We're getting the website up. Like I said, we're on a lot of platforms right now. Getting, make sure the audio versions get out because I have all the audios, all the masters and everything. I want to own all that stuff. So that's another key thing that I want to do as well. So that gives me time to catch up. Yeah. Because we still don't record episodes we just not gonna release them yeah like you know when trusty kicks let people back in you know yeah like and a heavier flow yeah. they had a pop-up shop this past weekend yeah i saw that i drove by it i didn't actually go in it because that line that was, line is ridiculous yeah so. and then uh lou sent me a uh, thing for a sneaker pop-up show on five richmond but i was like we we already set up the other interview i have to talk to her tonight to see if she's still coming through okay but also you gotta get Jakari on the show before you leave. Do yeah. another point five episode. Yeah, you know. We also want to give a shout out, you know, to our, you know, Donald helping us produce, you know, helping us make sure we get in line. Cause mm-hmm. if you saw on YouTube, I did two versions of episode four: green screen, green shoes, no problem, and yeah. yes problem. Now people don't know, and this is just a little off topic, but I did two versions because you can see the green screen actually messed with the green shoes, and certain extent like it was all green so it's really hard and i know these are green shoes too but it's not gonna be as bad as a full green shoe yeah because that's the issue yeah. and so that's why i have to go through my closet and i know personally thanks to dj hero i letting us use the pumas and the adidas so everybody can get some love today but i have the nikes and i have a lot of great and you know my easy rochets green shoes so yeah and i got a lot of black shoes you so know, they people, work yeah people be tired of saying black you know what i'm saying give them a little color give them a little color but have some black in it yeah you know that's what we got to do i would introduce the shoes but the pumas are new and the adidas are old i can't remember the adidas names but they're they look they like the soccer shoe and they got the yeezy rochets which is the highlight of the show because this is one of the last yeezy colorway shoes that kanye was still on the on the nike brand before he went to adidas that and the phone positives and i have both but I yeah, also before Nike started fucking up on the app. Let's not get started because Nike has been on a consistent fuck up with the app. But everything else is all right. It's just the app releases are, are just trash. But before we can take a break, I think we should hit the Vanessa Bryant topic. Yeah, I'm uh, more knowledgeable about that because the only Vanessa Bryant story I heard is that she's suing the helicopter company. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Vanessa and Natalia Bryant actually just um, blocked all of the Kobe and Gigi fan pages because they keep posting everyday photos of uh, Kobe and Gigi. And um, she did say it's no hard feelings towards those pages. It's just right now they're still in the morning state and they ask her people to understand. I mean, especially with everything going on, especially it's six months in. Well, it'll be six months in a couple of days. But by the time this filming of this video, of course. 
we still got to let people mourn and people mourn in different ways exactly and with everything that's going on especially right now it's better to let let things cool off so that they can have time to heal because this is a tragedy every death is a tragedy exactly no matter how you know how big or small it is it is a tragedy and people need time to mourn so we don't want to intrude on their lives anymore because they've already dealt with enough and for them to keep seeing the post it just keeps bringing back memories they haven't had time to heal exactly so fan of kobe i'm glad nike haven't really released any new shoes for kobe because he had a line out before when he retired called the 80s which was actually nice mm-hmm. and and it was no shade to nike about this but when they released the shoe i actually said 80 i thought 80 was me after death not the invisible before he passed so i'm not yeah. gonna you know this is a sensitive subject yeah. i'll put the claim disclaimer up but I wanted to say that, and I didn't call. I, didn't, I thought of that, but I think no, the Kobe ain't gonna go no time soon. Little did we know it was gonna happen. So we about to take a quick break, yes, get readjusted, and we'll be right back. So we are gonna hit you with our famous yeah, and we'll be right back. All righty, we are back. We are back. We are back. Before we get to the shoes. I'm working on the intro. I'm working on the new themes for the show. So that's why we need to take the break. Yes, sir. Because we got, I want to do like a motion motion intro, have our own. Someday we have TJT Raw, you know, push the introduction stuff. You know, when he's not busy, no shape. But I, you got to laugh to keep crying. You know, I love my line brother. I love my line brother to death. But so the shoes we have today now. The only easy one to pronounce, of course, is the easy way, the easy Roche runs. But we also got the Future Rider plays, which is right here, the easy Roche runs. And then we got the Adidas Sombra, Sombolia. I can't say it, I'm not gonna They call clear orange, Adidas, Adidas clear orange. You'll see the name in the video. Sober code. So, shit, they sound Russian to me, cuz. <laughs> they sound Russian to me, I ain't gonna lie. But you have so- Siri to pronounce it. Yeah, but Siri ain't in motion right now. But the Sober code, I ain't gonna lie, look comfortable than the Roches. And I think it's because of that bottom. They remind me of my uh, Shadow Tumblers. Ah, the Tumblr, the Tumblr 12s. No, not Tumblr 12s. Oh, the, tu- the Tumblr. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh be more precise. <laughs> but I love the clear orange. It looked like a more of a fuchsia pink to me. But the shoe itself, mm-hmm. nice shoe, comfortable. Even for 11, I wear 12, it's still comfortable. So I can't fault them for that. But. It looks like a genuinely nice shoe. So I'm here for it. Yeah. Now the future the future plays. And I say that because, you know, Puma hit or miss, you know, with me personally. Yeah, I haven't worn Puma since fifth grade. And that's what I'm saying. I ain't worn Puma in a while, but the future play like play on running, it looked pretty cool. And like I actually like that color I like the colorway because it looks different. Not saying that I'm open to buying a shoe myself. No, 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 no. Don't get it twisted. But I'm just saying, as a shoe that you want this to be stylish with, yeah. and you have a shirt with multiple colors, yeah. then that would be the shirt, the shoe to go with. That's just me. Okay. I don't know about you, but when it comes to my favorite shoes that I wear, that I got as a birthday gift, I don't remember if I got them before track meet or after the, after, track, after my track college career, my Easy Rochers. I was gonna bring my Puma Roche, my Leopard Roche, not Puma, Leopard Roche, but I didn't know if the color would match with the green screen. So you might get to see those another day. Yeah. I got my concert shirt for Friday, ready to go. I'm bringing my Yeezus Tour shirt out, only because of what our friend, the dark skin Drake, AT said. So I'm giving you a shout out, AT. Yeah. I'm gonna make sure you watch this episode. We're gonna tell you what you did Friday. And I, I'm gonna tell him now. I'm gonna give you like a synopsis, but he apologized for the disrespectful things he said about that album. <laughs> I'm gonna more detail in fri- on Friday, but for him to actually admit it seven years later after the album dropped, after I didn't listen to that album, I bought that album before I bought the J. Cole and the Wiley album when I was in Alabama. Mm-hmm. Shout out to everybody in Huntsville, Alabama. I miss y'all seven years, you know, it's been a long time. But for you to apologize, <laughs> hey man, says a lot. It says a lot, especially that I was ahead of his time. So that really says a lot. But I think it's now, so we did a quick review of the shoes. The cigars. Yeah, so the 
Romeo E. Juliet Reserva Real. Mm-hmm. I give it a eight out of ten. Okay. Uh, as you can see, you got the light blend, mm-hmm. which means it's a smooth one. Uh, the pull is real smooth. Uh, it's not harsh. So, yeah, it's still intact. Actually, actually the wrapper fell off of me. So not the not the ash, but the wrapper. The wrapper. Okay. And that's rare for a cigar for the actual wrapper to like peel off by itself and fall off. Of course, of course. Because that little glue that they put on there. It's so tough. Yeah. Like you'd be damn near trying to break the cigar to get to the wrapper. Exactly. Can't be doing that. But also when it comes to like cigars, you know, trying to trying to get everything set up so we can actually start our own too. And even with the merchandising, I'm wearing a Where's the Peach Tea throwback shirt. Classic hey, joint. Shout out to our ADP Bird. Sh- for sure, shout out to Bird Peach Where's the Peach Tea? I want to see if you could be a sponsor for the show, you know, serve the pe- bring the Peach Tea around. Hey, that would be lit. That would be that lit. That would be lit. That would be hella lit. We're going to have to call them. Exactly, because I want to know we got the shirt made. So that way, because it doesn't have a tag, but it has the name of the, com- name of the Peach Tea. Yeah, and I like shirts without the tags on it. Yeah, it's much more comfortable. And then mm-hmm. once we get the sneakers and stogie stuff running, we can do it like that. Okay, I'm done with that. that. Like that's a good idea, especially, especially not getting the all white rug. I'm taking my shout out back, Natalie. You hearing it first? I'm taking my shout out back. I'm returning my shout out. Can't be no Indian giver. She didn't. She made an executive decision on her behalf to not sell the rug, and I respect that. Okay, so you can't be mad at her. You still keep the shout out. Your shout out is kept. Your shout out is kept for the video sake, cause the video will be dropped by before this one gets done. But just know, I said what I said. All love and respect to you, good person. Your shout out going with him, it ain't going with me. Fair enough. <laughs> cause I might end up getting the white rug. The price tag rug. Just cause it's cheaper on the market. Like, that rug on typical standby is like four almost five and niggas is on site selling it for thousands. Fuck out of here. If you're gonna pay for a rug and it stays in the marginal error, margin of error for this price value, the white one will make more sense. And we need something to cozy up the area, you know. Mm-hmm. Give a little different view. But also, the cigar look good, you know. We, we're gonna have some B-roll, you open up one of the boxes and then give them a good smell of them. Yeah. But, but you know, it's this is a con so far besides the lynchings in in Houston and everywhere else that have been having sporadically. We need y'all to be safe. Please be safe. Uh, if you have to be out at nighttime, which I don't recommend, please be with somebody. Or at least have like something present that way you can get in contact with somebody. Make yeah. sure your phone charge. Make sure you buy a charger. Exactly. Make sure your car charger ports work. Exactly. Like, or have, like me, have backups. Your eight phones. I'm talking about charge ports, fool. <laughs> Not the phones. Charge ports. That's what I'm saying. But you, but you still have eight phones. Eight. I have seven backup phones. Seven backup phones to your one. But I need, in case something happens, you know, when we had New Orleans and we got to record the nut shit that happens that deserve the nut shit stamp of approval. I need to go to New Orleans. We all, we need a vacation. Uh, we all need a vacation. This, this year, we just need a vacation. This year, we need four vacations instead of two. Yeah, make <laughs> up for the shit because this shit here is wildin'. And personally, like the one in Houston, they didn't get no media coverage. Yeah, I I really feel some type of way about that because Houston is is good for posting everything else, mm-hmm. but that like we had to find out on Twitter, Twitter and Instagram. Well, I found out on Twitter. I found, I, I didn't see it on Instagram. I seen it on IG. It was on my feed. No, okay. that's how I found out because it was just weird, like. And I check the news. I check a lot of news sites for things like out of the ordinary, and that didn't pop up. Now, and then for what I'm hearing, I know it's the Hispanic man, but still, in all, yes. if you get lynched, mm-hmm. you gotta get media to all co- all coverage because that's just something you don't do. Yeah, that's just wrong. Man. That's just wrong on so many levels. But this episode normally was a short built episode, but. We are not yet ready for the closing remarks, so we want to give y'all enough content that y'all can enjoy. 
and we want to make sure that y'all have something to listen to. So when we put the first seven or eight episodes up, y'all just go on and listen. Because, of course, the audio is going to be behind, but it shouldn't be. It's been hard dealing with editing and then mastering and everything. So that's what we're really working towards, making sure y'all get a professional style podcast mm-hmm. from the underground. Yep. But J. Cole just dropped a new single. <laughs> We're going to talk about that Friday. We're going to talk about Friday. Yeah, I got to digest it. All right. I'm going to listen. So so far. It's very woke. Yeah. So far, it's very woke. So I got to digest. But I feel like, and this is my personal preference after seeing, you know, we a lot of us that went to TSU in the early 2010s, 2011s, got to see him and meet him before he became truly woke, but he was already woke in his prior releases. Yeah. So it for him to keep going and keep doing things staying consistent staying consistent like you don't see a lot of rappers that stay consistent they evolve but they evolve and stay consistent yeah so that's actually a good thing and before even before we even think about closing out the show we want to say happy birthday tupac man happy birthday tupac man man hell mary i ain't mad at you a lot of classics man do you guys think it's crazy all the stuff that's going on today? And could you guys um, relate it to a Tupac song if you could think of one? You know what? I can relate it to an interview. The Mortal Man interview. Yes. See, that's how we know each other. We know each other too long. I I I relate to that interview. He said it's gonna be pure murder, bloodshed. Mm-hmm. Niggas not gonna be buying CDs no more. Mm-hmm. Like it's it's like he was so ahead of his time mm-hmm. that is scary, and it's to the point that when I list, I can't listen to the interview part of Kendrick's album because it is emotional. Like I can't focus driving wise when I listen to that part. Man, I listen. The lyrics are changes. It's still describing what's going. The only part where he was wrong was that America not ready to see a black president because it's happened. But that's yeah. the only thing he got wrong. But. Wait, before we get to that part, I want to argue that because did Barack really do what he was supposed to as a black president? I feel like Barack was a stepping stool. Then that's the point. Because if you, not just thinking on a democratic per, uh, personality or a democratic point of view, but if you're thinking that it was progressive, he wasn't progressive enough. Do you agree with him, Cordero? Yeah, but I also feel as though Barack had a big agenda. Of course. Day on Trump's birthday. It, shout, shout out to social media. I the want, pettiness of social media. Exactly. Shout out to us, man, because <laughs> Trump is highly upset. And he, we don't care. We don't care because he's been targeting Barack since he was in office. Mm-hmm. And it's like you're losing your pool with regular people now because you ain't you and your Republican controlled Senate ain't really did shit. Exactly. Like y'all barely did shit when y'all had the house ants, and then y'all did more stuff to untangle Barack's ideas and point of view and p- policies. Don't get me started on that. Then we, actually doing stuff for everybody as a whole. We well, don't. we know most Republicans weren't gonna do that anyway, because you know Mitch McConnell with his turtle looking self don't do shit for black people anyway. He has over nine hundred bills held up in the Senate, and it's like, bro, the fuck? <laughs> like we wouldn't be in this COVID crisis. We would have said a, a lot of shit with COVID wouldn't have happened if you wouldn't have dismantled the program that Barack had. Exactly. That Barack had to prepare us for a disaster. Even Anthony Fauci, Dr. Anthony Fauci, excuse my term, my naming, but he predicted this years before a, pandi- a pandemic was going to happen. And America was not prepared. And you got to think, for those, who, for those listeners who don't vote for Republican and are very conservative with their views, yeah, conservative party is really just fucking y'all over at this point. They just using y'all for votes and to hold power, but not doing anything except for giving it to the corporation, giving money to the corporations. Exactly. So I really feel that. And normally we're not a political show, but normally you see, even though Democrats are, don't get me wrong, I've done this too, but it's more so on the Republicans and it's more so leading to Joe Biden attempting to get his victory. I can't call, we can't call it yet. Yeah. So that's my thing, and then to, with the Tupac question, yeah, the Mortal Man interview, even on the even listening to changes and that on the, the Kendrick album, it kind of it's so realistic. Yep. And it took 
it didn't take the generation that he came in because millennials we wasn't old enough to do stuff yet yeah we were still kids we were still kids but the generation before us and the gen- but the generation before us did what they could do mm-hmm. and the generation that's after us technically the gen zers with the millennials or like i said earlier basically forming their own adventures and trying to stop all this shit. Exactly. we tired of the shit. we've been tired for so many goddamn years we trying to do better speaking of that I left a comment on CNN a couple months back that had got over 100 views, 100 likes on my actual official page about the black congressman, I want to say from South Carolina in the Senate. He black and he's agreeing with Trump. And I get it. You're a Republican. That's cool. I understand that. But still in all, it's like, bro, like, bro, what, what are you doing? You, Ben Carson, I don't even start on Kennedy's own because I think Dave Chappelle hit enough with that. Yeah, Dave Chappelle. <laughs> Dave Chappelle already had enough topics on that. And his the A A forty six was pretty good, yeah. really fucking good. <laughs> I watched it on YouTube because he had they had it on Netflix as a joke. But it Sh- was look, shout out to Dave Chappelle. Shout out to Dave Chappelle, man. Doing doing something so raw and so real that a lot of people wasn't prepared for. Mm-hmm. But and then if you watched at the beginning, they were testing people for COVID and having them spaced out. And a lot of people, a lot of Republicans don't even want to believe that COVID is real. But Florida's hot in numbers. They not showing any real numbers. Texas is damn sure not show, not doing the right thing. It's, it's like the numbers are altered when they present it to us. I feel like the numbers are higher. Of course they're higher than what they are telling us on the news. I don't, and that's why I don't watch mainstream media. I, if anything, I watch progressive media because at least they're gonna tell you the truth, good, bad, or ugly. Exactly. Like tell me the truth. Tell me the truth and see how we're gonna react to it because. This is just too much going on and too much, how can I say, too much is not being broadcasted fairly. Yeah. So, before we close out today, we're going to have our closing remarks. I went first Friday, on the Friday episode, so I think it's your turn. Uh, no, stay safe. Like I've always been saying, stay safe. Check on your doctor friends, check on your nurse friends, check on your lawyer friends, check on your police officer friends, uh, check on your friends in general for their mental health, man, because with all this stuff going on, it's affecting people's mental. So make sure y'all checking on each other, be there for one another, and just be safe out there in the streets, man. That's a good one. My closing remarks is double-sided. Now, I agree with everything you're saying, but also stay informed because you don't know what's going on. You don't know, like you wake up in the morning and you don't know what's gonna happen. Exactly. So you don't know if something good could happen, something bad could happen, but you gotta stay informed. And that's why I say it's double-sided because there's some stuff I've seen on Twitter that, and. I can go on a whole nother rant, but I'm going to cut it short because this was my closing remark. Y'all are saying protect y'all black queens, but some of y'all are not, some of y'all that are men are not even doing that. Hmm. So, and I saw on Twitter, like a whole bunch of black guys, and I don't know the full story of the video, so I'm paraphrasing, but I saw a whole bunch of black guys throw a black girl into a dumpster, and I'm like, that's not protecting her. That's not protecting your queen. All black women are queens, no matter how you look at it. And... And that's why I say stay informed because if you really stay in, saying y'all protect y'all black queens, going back to my drink rant or last episode, y'all wouldn't really support somebody that attacked a person's wife that had nothing to do with beef. And I'm like I said, I'm, that's why I said it's a double sided closing remark. Mm-hmm. But it's just a lot going on, so really just stay informed. That I was meant to bring that up last week, and I do apologize, but it was just so much on my mind last week personally. Especially, you know, like I said, I have family that somebody that caught in my family and working on the show and making sure I stay quarantined, making sure that nobody in my immediate family gets it. It's been real crazy. So stay informed, stay safe. If you're in the South, stay hydrated. For sure. And happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there. For sure. This episode might not come out on Father's Day, but happy Father's Day to all the fathers that are listening, all the fathers that's going to be fathers. And all the old school gents and all school pimps that, you know, still fathers out here, man. Hey. Because it's already bad enough that our system is fucking up black dads. Yep. 
So that's all I wanted to say. This is my closing remark. Landon Strange, the YouTube villain. Optimus Prima if you're nasty. And we out. Yerts. Yerts.